Hello Knitters! I'm Irina Rivo. Thanks for joining me. This video is about how to calculate and space decreases evenly in circular knitting. I'll show how it works by presenting two cases. In each case, we will first calculate the number of stitches per section, and next we will distribute the sections evenly. You can use this algorithm for your knitting projects. Just put in your own starting and target stitch counts and follow the steps. This is case number one. The starting stitches are 70, the target stitches are 58. 70 minus 58 equals 12, so we have 12 decreases. For the decrease intervals, we divide our starting 70 stitches by 12 decreases and we get 5.833 stitches. But there is no such number of stitches. It's either 5 stitches or 6 stitches. So we round it up to 5 stitches between decreases plus leftover stitches. This is the summary of the calculations. The starting stitches are 70, target stitches 58, 70 minus 58 equals 12, 12 decreases. Next, we divide starting stitches by decreases. 70 divided by 12 equals 5.833. We round it up to 5 stitches between decreases plus leftover stitches. To calculate the leftover stitches, we multiply 5 stitches by 12 decreases and we get 60 stitches. And our starting stitches were 70. So 70 minus 60 equals 10. 10 leftover stitches. And now we spread out 10 leftover stitches over 12 decrease sections. By having 10 sections with 6 stitches, 5 plus 1 leftover, and 2 sections with 5 stitches. So the initial arrangement looks like this. 10 sections with 6 stitches and 2 sections with 5 stitches. Now we need to redistribute 12 sections evenly. The minority sections were with 5 stitches and the majority sections with 6 stitches. To calculate the distribution ratio, we divide 12 total sections by 2 minority sections, and that equals 6. This number 6 means to make groups of 6 sections, which will include 5 majority sections and 1 minority section. And we repeat these groups until all sections are used. This is how this distribution looks on the sample. The first section is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 stitches. Then again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 stitches. And then here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 stitches. Then again several sections with 6 stitches, and the last section is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 stitches. Case number 2. The starting stitches are 70, the target stitches are 54. 70 minus 54 equals 16. 16 decreases. For the decrease intervals, we divide our starting 70 stitches by 16 decreases and we get 4.375 stitches. And there is no such number of stitches. We can have either 4 stitches or 5 stitches. So we round it up to 4 stitches between decreases plus leftover stitches. Here is the summary of the calculations. The starting stitches are 70. Target stitches 54, 70 minus 54 equals 16, 16 decreases. Next, we divide 70 starting stitches by 16 decreases and we get 4.375 stitches. We round it up to 4 stitches between decreases plus leftover stitches. To calculate the leftover stitches, we multiply 4 stitches by 16 decreases, we get 64 stitches. But our starting stitches are 70, so 70 minus 64 equals 6. 6 leftover stitches. 
and now we spread out six leftover stitches over 16 decrease sections. By having six sections with five stitches, four plus one from leftover, and 10 sections with four stitches. So the initial arrangement looks like six sections with five stitches, followed by 10 sections with four stitches. Now we redistribute 16 sections evenly. The minority of the sections are with five stitches, and the majority of the sections are with four stitches. To calculate the distribution ratio, we divide 16 total sections by six minority sections, and we get this odd number that we round up to 2.67. The whole number part 2 means that our base groups have two sections, which include one majority section with four stitches and one minority section with five stitches. And the decimal part, 0.67, means 67% of base groups with two sections plus an extra majority section. So 67% of 445 and 33% of 45. This is about 2 to 1, or two groups with three sections, followed by one group with two sections. And we repeat this sequence of groups until all sections are used. So two groups with three sections, followed by one group with two sections and so on. This is how it looks on the sample. This is the round. This is the beginning of the round. And we have one, two, three, four stitches, marker. One, two, three, four stitches, marker. One, two, three, four, five stitches, marker, and so on. And here again, one, two, three, four, One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. And the last section, one, two, three, four, five. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful and to support the channel. Happy knitting, and I'll see you in the next one.